My former speeches have but hit your thoughts, which can interpret further. Only I say, things have been strangely born. The gracious Duncan was pitted of Macbeth. Marry, he was dead, and the right valiant Banquo walked too late. Whom, you may say, if to please you, Fleance killed. For Fleance fled. Men must not walk too late. Who cannot want the thought how monstrous it was for Malcolm and for Donald Bain to kill their gracious father. Damned fact. How it did grieve Macbeth. And did he not straight in pious rage the two delinquents tear that were the slaves of drink and thrall of sleep? Was not that nobly done? Aye, and wisely too, for it would have angered any heart alive to hear the men deny it. So that I say, he has borne all things well. And I do think that had he Duncan's sons under his key, as and please heaven he shall not, they should find what were to kill a father. And so should Fleance. For peace, for from broad words, and cause he failed his presence at the tyrant's feast, I hear Macduff lives in disgrace. Sir, can you tell where he bestows himself? <laughs>